Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day and you are staying sane. Uh, let's just get to the point. Today is a get ready with me. We're gonna talk about what I've been going through in the past month and yeah. So let's just dive in. All the makeup details will be down below in the description box. So let's just get started. So some background for those who may be new to my channel. Um, I got engaged in July and we got married on the 7th of November. Uh, leading up to that, oh my gosh, it was so stressful. And not even, I just, I don't know, it was extremely stressful. I didn't even do a lot of planning for it, but it still was just, I don't know, it was nerve wracking. I don't know why. Um, and the day of the wedding happened, everything went perfectly smooth. It was a great day. I had a blast. Um, I loved seeing all of my friends and family that I haven't seen in like ages. I got to see uh, my best friend who lives in California. She was able to fly out and be one of my bridesmaids and that was so special to me and to have my best friend be my maid of honor. And so now she's my sister-in-law and it's kind of like cool that we kind of made that transition into being best friends to now being sisters. I, I don't know, I think that's kind of awesome. I feel like that's a lot of girls' dreams to like be sisters with your best friend. Oh crap, I gotta go get my wedding ring because I do not have it on. It is upstairs in the bathroom, so let me get Okay, got my rings on. So this is my wedding ring, and then this is my great-grandmother's ring. She, um, she passed in July right after we got engaged. I was actually on the phone and she had had, oh, I don't know. Anyways, so she was in hospice, but at home. So she was in a hospital bed at my grandma's house. And I was talking to my mom and my grandma and they were like, well, why don't you explain how he proposed to you, to Mimi? So as she laid in her bed, I explained to her what happened. And then when I finished, she had passed. And so this is her ring and I wear it as much as I can remember because I'm actually terrible about forgetting these on the vanity in the bathroom, but um, it's just nice to have a little piece of her with me every day. So I had reserved us a Airbnb called the Chicken Coop and it was absolutely adorable. It was basically this tiny house that they had um, made in their backyard which like wasn't that big but yeah so they made this little tiny house in their backyard and it was so cute and as the name would predict it was themed around being like a chicken coop and it was so adorable there's just chicken stuff everywhere um the there's like this closet thing that had like chicken wire and stuff on it. It was so adorable. It had a little day bed. It was a one bedroom. So it was all together except the bathroom was kind of like off on its own. And it had such a nice bathroom. It was so, so good. We enjoyed our stay there. And the lady who owned it was so very nice and she had left all this stuff for us to use. Like she was definitely a great host and we didn't meet her like in person or anything, which is fine. I didn't mind that at all, but it was just so nice that she had like provided all these things for us. I have never stayed in an Airbnb before, so I don't know what the like <laughs> expectations are supposed to be, what your hosts are supposed to do. So it was a great first Airbnb experience basically. 
So we get to Colorado Springs and the first night we actually have a stay with a hotel called The Drury. Um, his dad had booked us a night there. So we went and stayed there. We woke up and had breakfast there and it was a very nice hotel. 1010 would recommend. Uh, the staff was very nice. Wow, why do I feel like this is not blending? <laughs> That's not good. And then that day we had to do some driving around because we had to wait to check into our uh, Airbnb. So we ended up just going around the Garden of the Gods, which was pretty cool you know, a bunch of rocks and stuff. It is really cool. I say it's just, it, it is just a bunch of rocks, but it's cool that we have like stuff like, like it just, it looks cool. Okay, I promise it does. I'm making it sound lame, but it truly is kind of like something you have to go see. Um, and then what else did we do that day? I guess we checked into our Airbnb. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Did we just, I think we went back to our Airbnb and then we went grocery shopping and then we stayed in for the night and we tried finding a game on Steam for us to play during the week when we weren't out and about. Um, and we ended up finding this game children of mortar or something like that i don't know it's a like game that you can play single player or co-op and um it's like a top down dungeon game and i really enjoyed it and he really enjoyed it and we had a great time playing it we ended up beating the game in three days and it was like so cool for us to like have that time together to like play a game together and like really finish it. Um, I feel like when life starts to get busy again, it's gonna be hard for us to do stuff like that. So it was really nice to just have that time together. So then that was Monday. On Tuesday, what did we do on Tuesday? I think Tuesday is when we went to Cave of the Winds and we went inside the cave on the excursion, I believe it's what it's called. So basically you get in the cave, they hand you this lantern, which is basically just a bucket. Um, and then through the side of the bucket, they put this like little thing that has a single flame and that is your lantern. Um, it doesn't light up much. Uh, so when you get into the cave you have to like stand there for a while to let your eyes adjust because you legitimately cannot see like it's so difficult and basically she just told us the history of the cave and told us ghost stories and stuff and it was pretty cool definitely something that i had never done before and i don't know i thought it was a really cool experience and i thought it was definitely like worth our money because, honey, let me tell you, there were some things that we did that was not worth our money. But it is what it is. Happens, right? So we did that. And after that, we went to the cliff dwellings. This would be one of the things that was not worth our money. The gift shop was totally cool. It was huge. And we ended up buying stuff from there, which, awesome. However, we paid like 12 bucks to look at these like old places that people lived in and it was a very small place and we just felt like it wasn't worth the $12. But you know, it happens when you're touristing around, you do stuff that maybe wasn't worth the money. On Wednesday, we went to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, which um wasn't, I don't think, we did not get the full experience, okay? Because of COVID and then they were doing construction as well. Um, so we didn't get the full experience. What we got was very, it was like a fraction of what they had. You couldn't go into all the indoor buildings because 
So you couldn't go into all the indoor buildings and then some of the exhibits were cut off because of the construction that they were doing. So that is something we want, or at least I want to do next time that we go to Colorado Springs because we would like to go again. Um, just because I want to be able to get the full experience. Um, I think it was still worth the money to give to the zoo so that they can do things like construction and uh, provide aid to animals that need it, that cannot be out in the wild. So I was grateful that we were able to go. I just kind of wish we were able to see everything. Kind of sucks that we didn't, but hey, it is what it is. It happens, whatever. Now, the Thursday of our honeymoon was definitely one of my favorite days. Um, Blake, my husband, is allergic to gluten. Uh, he's not celiac, but he is a very sensitive, very sensitive indeed. Like he'll get full on sick, thrown up, bedridden, like just not okay. So we had to go to special places to eat or find a place that has a gluten friendly menu. Um, so we actually found a couple of bakeries that had gluten-free options or were completely gluten-free. Um, so there was Icy Bing Cafe, I think is what they're called. And it's actually, it stands for, I can't believe it's not gluten. And so we had to go, we had to try it. Um, I wasn't really a fan of anything that they had. Uh, I don't know if that's because I'm not used to being gluten-free or what. It just, I just didn't, I didn't particularly like it. Blake said that it was just okay. It wasn't anything to like call home about or anything. So that one's okay. It's worth the try, I guess. And then we went to this Dutch bakery. I'm not even gonna begin to try and um, pronounce it because I can't, but it's this Dutch bakery and it is absolutely delightful. They had the best tiramisu that I had ever had in my life. Tiramisu is my favorite dessert and uh, theirs was just so delightful, so delightful. One of our favorite things from the Dutch bakery was this hazelnut meringue. It's like these two like puff balls with like cream in the middle. Oh, it was like a harder cotton candy that just melted in your mouth. It was so delicious. Absolutely loved it. 10, 10 would recommend. Definitely go there. Try to find a Dutch bakery in Colorado Springs for sure. Um, the third bakery that we went to was the Garden of the Gods Market and Cafe. This place was a cafe restaurant type deal along with a bakery and a little market that it had. And it was very nice. Definitely a place for a yuppies to go. Um, that being said, it's definitely worth the money. It was so delicious. We loved their breakfast items. Oh, so good. We had these like skillets. I don't really know what Blake had, but mine was like green chili. It was the vegetable green chili with eggs on top. Oh, and then there was a tortilla in there. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. And then you go to the little market where they have their bakery as well. Um, their bakery is okay. There wasn't anything that we were like, oh my God, this is so fantastic. Except for their vanilla macarons. Those were mm, so delicious. But if I were to go back there, I would probably only go for their food because I just was not a fan of their baked goods. I didn't think they were that great. Um, 
I don't remember how Blake felt about it, but it definitely just was not that good. So that was our honeymoon. We had a great time and had a lot of fun, like just being with each other. It was truly just a great experience that I got to have with him. Um, so then we get here in Nebraska and we were so blessed that his parents were nice enough to move my stuff up here. And so then we came home and we had a bunch of stuff in our garage and basement. Um, yeah, so basically what I have been doing for the past week is attempting to unpack all of this stuff that I have. <laughs> And also all of our wedding gifts because, uh, wow, the amount of kitchen utensils or like Tupperware, it's just stuff like that, just kitchen stuff that we got is absolutely insane. Now, of course, me and Blake have never lived with each other, so <sighs> living together for a week now um I've learned a few things and then realized a few things that I already knew um in college I had always had roommates you know the full college experience um and it was very clear that I struggled living with other people I get irritated very easily um when people are like either in my space or just, you know, bothering me. I really value my alone time. I value my space. I value my privacy. Uh, so now to have another person here all the time and I know they're never gonna leave, I, I, was, I was very irritated in the beginning. Um, and I have to be like, I am so sorry. I'm just, I'm irritated. Uh, it, you're doing fine. It's just, yeah. So that's, that's been truly, truly fun. Um, and then we were trying to build a dresser together. And he was like, I'm having a great time. You're not having a good time. I'm like, I'm so irritated. How are you not irritated? But I'm very lucky to have someone who is very patient. Um, and even if he doesn't understand how I'm feeling or what's going on, he's still just so kind about it. So kind and I'm so blessed because uh, I was so on edge, so on edge. Also, I finally found something that drives me nuts about Blake. Drives me absolutely bonkers. So when it's, so when he is at home and he doesn't go to work, um, we have coffee together. I drink coffee every morning, whether he's here or not, but we have coffee together and he'll make the coffee. He likes making my coffee for me in the morning. However, he leaves the used Keurig cups on the counter. This morning, I threw away seven K cups. Seven, seven. And <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but I saw them this morning and I was like, mm. however, he had a much more interesting morning than I did. Let's get started on this lower lash line and I'll, I'll tell you all about it. So, let's flash back to last night. We're in bed, we're asleep. I wake up because I need to use the restroom. Now, we do have a restroom connected to our master bedroom. So, of course, I went in that bathroom. Now, 
I didn't flush because I didn't want to wake him up in case he was asleep because my husband doesn't sleep. That is a story for another time. But I didn't want to wake him up just in case he was asleep. So I left, you know, I left stuff in the toilet, all right? Don't judge me. So this morning when he woke up to go to work, he took his shower that he takes every morning and he somehow managed to hit his glasses with his towel. Do you see where this is going? So his glasses fall into the toilet, which still had my pee in it. <laughs> I feel so terribly bad about it, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure he cleaned them off, but he had to fish his glasses out of the toilet. I had so many. Ah! It was, I find it hilarious. I'm sure he was not happy at the time. I'm really surprised he didn't like wake me up. Like he didn't say a few words and then, you know, it was a little loud, but hey, it, it, <laughs> it's just so funny. So funny. Poor guy. So I kind of got distracted by YouTube videos and accidentally finished my makeup. Uh, but basically to sum everything up, I'm just trying to adapt to my new chapter in life. And yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I would love to know how y'all are doing as well. Genuinely, I mean that. So if you wanna leave how it's going down below in the comments, please do so. Um, and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I have videos coming every Wednesday. And also hit that like button because you did not make it this far for nothing. So you might as well just go ahead and hit it. All right, y'all have a good one now. Bye.